Why do I need a car? After being in Beijing for 10 years, I've come to realize that having a car is an absolute must. Like most people in the city, I have to commute from my apartment to get anywhere. That means either taking the crowded subway to work, waiting in line for a bus during rush hour, or fighting to hail a cab. I think owning a car will improve my quality of life immensely. May from Wisconsin, and this is the Lincoln Co. 09 EMP. Now, a friend of mine back in Germany owns the Lincoln Co. 01, and while I was there on vacation, I tried it for a couple of days. It left a deep impression on me, so here I am back in China to try the 09 EMP to see if it's the car for me. Because gas is pricey, I either want an EV or a hybrid, and this 09 EMP is just that. Now, I will make sure to put the specs at the top of the screen for you to see, but other than that, I will also give you an up-close experience and feel of this car. This is a big car with these bold and unique headlights. Combined with this large front grille, it really gives a powerful first impression. So I've seen some mixed reviews about this black lining, but it goes from the front and extends through the sides, and I think it's pretty sleek. So walking along the side of the car, I see these retractable handles, which are really cool. And then nearing the back of the car, this is the same style as the Lincoln Co. 01 that I saw in Germany. So the taillights have quite a modern feel, and I'm not a super big fan of this big logo on the back, but hey, I guess it could be considered consistent with the urban boldness of the car's design. Now in the driver's seat, this car is filled with everything you need and then some. So I just think that there are so many great manual controls in this car and I've seen plenty of these electric vehicles opt out of these manual controls and just use the screen system instead. But I find comfort in them. I really like having a good combination between the digital and analog controls. And I just think that these are so sleek and they have a tactile feel to them. All right, let's go inside and check it out. The steering wheel is quite a traditional setup, so there's many controls here, and it's easy to quickly find exactly what I need. Now, for the panels, there is a bit of a juxtaposition of materials. Now, from top to bottom, we have plastic, then metal, then leather. And to be honest, I don't really favor this mismatch of materials. So right underneath the interface here, which I just showed you the air conditioning uh, for, there is a special panel for air conditioning, which makes that interface a bit redundant. Now, I really like this panel because when I want to change the air conditioning on the left side, I can just turn these little knobs and also use the touch screen. Now, for this dashboard in front of me, the screen is very big, but I do think there could be a better artistic design because as you can see, now, the screen being so big, these, these numbers are squeezed into very little text boxes, which, you know, is just not designed very aesthetically pleasing. Now, next we move to the map, and you can see right here, the kilometers per hour, it, there's just, there's no shadow behind it, so it's not that easy to see. Now we're entering the second and third row seats. Now, for the second row seats, you get them heated too, which is a must in the winter. I remember being a kid in Wisconsin growing up in the cold winters and not having heated seats and it was just awful. Now, there are a few ways to move this seat uh, front and back. Now, first of all, you can glide it front and back to give yourself more leg room. Second, the second handle can bring this seat and fold it completely forward. And the third handle can bring this seat forward so that passengers can enter to the third row. So now I'm back in the third row and there's actually quite a lot more leg room than I imagined. It's not that cramped for me and I think it would be great for kids one day when I have them. And there's a USB port back here so you can charge your phone if you need more battery life. I think that's a great feature. This is how big the trunk is after you put down the seat. The steering wheel goes from light to heavy as the speed goes up. and. When you're under 40 kilometers per hour, it still feels like you're driving a small car. And this car doesn't give that floating feeling like a lot of American cars do. So as I mentioned earlier, the 09 has the Bose noise cancellation system, which makes the ride super quiet. There's no road noise and there's no engine sound. 
This car has a simplistic design with bold colors and not too many excessive lines, but some might say it's more of a masculine car. Well, I, for myself, I think I would prefer a more feminine design, but I think lots of people would still like this design as well.